Hey guys, Chuck here from Brand New Vegan. Welcome to another video. It's been a while since I've done one of these things. And if you look at the title of this video, <laughs> it maybe will explain why. Um, shingles. Yeah, October 21st to November 15th. I had a mild case of the shingles. And even though it was mild, it was horrible. So here are the top 10 things I learned about the shingles virus coming up. So number one, it's a virus. It's called the varicella zoster virus. It's the exact same virus as the chickenpox virus. And once you've had chickenpox, it lives dormant in your nerve cells forever. It never goes away. So unfortunately, it can pop up again later in life, usually after 50 years old. But this time, it'll come back as shingles. So it's a two-stage virus. Part one is chickenpox. Usually we get that when we're kids. And then part two later on is shingles. Same virus. So it starts out as an annoying pain. For me, it was back pain, lower middle back, like I slept wrong, like I pulled a muscle. Um, you've all heard me talk about my grandson. Well, he's pounced on my back so many times. I thought, you know, maybe it was just something to do with that. And I didn't really pay much attention to it, but over the course of three, four, five days, the pain never went away. On a scale of one to 10, it was like a two or a three. And slowly it intensified to about a five or a six. And then I started getting chest pains. I thought, oh crap, that's all I need. A heart attack. I had a stroke last year. You know, what next? But it got pretty bad to where the, the, the back pain was a constant like five or six, the chest pains would move over to my ribs on the left side and they would flash like on a scale of one to 10, an eight or a nine. It was pretty painful. So I went through that for about a week. And then one night I woke up really bad pain, middle of the night, went to get some aspirin and I reached around my back because it was hurting and I felt the blisters. So it starts out as a pain it intensifies, and then after about a week or so, blisters will form. Uh, the funny thing is about these blisters, they'll only affect half of your body. So if you draw a line from the top of your head down to your, your feet with your spine in the middle, it'll affect this half or this half, never both. And I've seen some horrific pictures on Google. You can look yourself. They're pretty nasty. Mine was just a really small patch about that big, about the size of an apple. And I got a picture I'll show you that uh, was right in the middle to the, just to the left, but in the middle of my back. Um, common areas to get these are your torso. So from your neck to your belly, that whole area on the front or the back, that's a very common. It can also uh, happen on your neck and on your face. If it gets on your face and it hits towards your eye, it can cause some serious damage. So you definitely want to have it looked at as quickly as you can. Uh, it can cause blindness. So nothing to, uh, nothing to joke around with. It can also affect your legs and your lower body, your groin, your butt. And I've seen, again, horrific pictures on Google that just nasty. As, as mild a case as I had with the smallest patch of blisters as I had, that hurt like, you know what? I can imagine having that much bigger in your groin area or on your bottom. Can't imagine. Um, number five, shingles are extremely painful. For my small patch of blisters and, you know, no bigger than an apple, it caused some of the most intense pain I've ever felt in my life. Uh, for people, compare it to kidney stones. They say kidney stones are a walking apart compared to this. I don't know. I never had kidney stone. I've never obviously had childbirth, but I hear the pain is pretty comparable for me, especially on my ribs. That, that was a flashing pain. It felt like somebody was just sticking me with a big hot knife and twisting it. And you never know when it was going to come. It might be fine for one second. The next second there's the pain and it, it could go right away that very second, 
or it can come back a split second later. It might be 10 seconds later. It might be 30 seconds later. You never knew when it was coming and then it would just hit you all of a sudden. It was that kind of pain. It was extremely painful. Um, on a scale of one to 10, those flashes, about a 15, it really hurt. Average duration of shingles is about two to four weeks. Mine lasted three, but they can last a lot longer than that. 40% of shingle cases can develop into uh, a complication they call PHN. Uh, it stands for post-herpetic neuralgia. And what that means is the pain can last for months, years, even your lifetime. So a lot of people get that. So you're contagious only to those who have never had chickenpox. As I said, this is a two-stage virus. Stage one is chickenpox. Stage two is shingles. Chickenpox usually when we're kids, shingles when we're much older. You have to have chickenpox first before you get shingles. So you're contagious when you have shingles only to those people who have never had chickenpox. And then if they get it, they'll get chickenpox, not shingles. You cannot spread shingles to another person at all, period. Your best chance of making this a mild case of shingles or lessening the pain is to treat it within the first 48 hours. I didn't even know I had it until after a week, so I was kind of late. But the treatment is usually an antiviral drug. Mine was called a cyclovir, uh, A-C-Y-C-O-O-V-I-R. And you took five of these a day until they were gone. And that was about two weeks worth. And they're big, giant horse pills, kind of hard to swallow. Or the other medicine they give you is a pain pill called, for me, it was called gabapentin. And that's for the nerve pain. That's to help ease that really sharp stabbing pains you would get. Uh, you want to be careful with gabapentin. It's a serious drug. Read the pamphlet very carefully when they, you, you pick it up from your pharmacy. Ask your doctor about it. The side effects are kind of scary. And also there can be side effects as you're coming off. You want to come off the drug exactly as they tell you. If they don't tell you, ask or read the pamphlet and uh, do it slowly and gradually. It's this anti-seizure medicine. If you come off too quickly, it can actually cause seizures. Um, you can have withdrawal symptoms. I did for about two or three days. It's pretty serious drug. So take a really good look at that pamphlet and ask your doctor the questions. Number nine. As I said, the virus never goes away, so you can get shingles more than once. It can come back year after year after year. The only way to prevent getting shingles to begin with is to get a vaccine. Uh, they have one for shingles called Shingrix, S-H-I-N-G-R-I-X, and that is supposed to prevent uh, shingles even if you've had chickenpox. And if you've not had chickenpox, there are two chickenpox vaccines one for adults called Verivax. Kids can take that one too. Or ProQuad. And that's the one they usually give the little kids along with their mumps, measles, rubella shot. Um, Chickenpox vaccine will prevent shingles later on in life, so they say. But, you know, the, the serious part here is if you're an adult and you've never had either and you get chickenpox as an, as an adult, it can be deadly. It, you can get really, really sick. So... Take those seriously. But that's the only way you can really prevent either one is to get the vaccines. Unfortunately, but that's the way it is. Uh, I did not have either one. I had chickenpox when I was little. That's why I was prone to get shingles later on, I guess. Um, will I get the shingles vaccine now that I've had it? As much as that hurt, probably. Uh, some people are you know, complaining, obviously, about all the vaccines we're taking, especially for covid uh, I did have the COVID vaccine. Some people say that the vaccine weakens your immune system and that's why you get shingles. Is there any truth to that? I don't know. I, I really don't care. Um, I, as much as the shingles hurt, I would gladly go through that again compared to being flat on my back in some hospital with a ventilator tube down my throat. You know, so. But anyway, that was my experience with shingles. It was not fun. It was very painful. Uh, again, the most painful thing I think I've ever went through. Don't plan on having it happen again, I hope, anyway. And um, yeah, that's where I've been. So if this was educational to you, if you learned something, please drop me a like and uh, please subscribe if you haven't done that already. And hopefully I can come back here real soon 
with a cooking video. <laughs> That's what I'm supposed to be about, cooking food, not talking about shingles and uh, strokes and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, comment, all that stuff, and I will see you next time. This is Chuck from Brand New Vegan. Thanks for watching.